why does everybody know who Grant Cardone is for the most part? And why don't they know Evan as well? And a lot of that is because you've been building in the dark. We're gonna be the first to make it happen. How do you feel about that? I like it. I'm, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm anxious, and I like it. <laughs> What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. Now, I've decided to blow up. I've decided to become a household name and take my channel to 10 million plus YouTube subscribers. I've decided to play a bigger game and take you on my climb with me. And I'm scared and I'm nervous, and you're gonna see the ups and downs in the entire journey. First off, I wanna thank everybody for all your support on the last episode. It's overwhelming, it's amazing. Um, it's great to know that there's so many people out there supporting me on my path and my journey, and I'm, I'm just even more pumped about this whole series, and hopefully it encourages and inspires you to play a bigger game in what you're doing as well. So in this episode, I sit down with my agent, Steve. We talk about making bolder bets, bigger plays, and the game plan to go after the 22 crew, the 22 people that I wanna get on this channel that will be game breaking for entrepreneurs and for my channel together. I hope you enjoy the episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Steve Carlos. I've known Steve for how long, Steve? Gotta be six, seven years now, right? Six, seven years. He's been the man behind the plan for a lot of the content that I put up, a lot of the strategies. He's camera shy, so this is amazing that we get to bring him on camera for this. Series. I am not camera shy, Evan. <laughs> I am the opposite of camera shy. I'm just not camera vol voluminous. He's not camera voluminous. All right, we'll go with that. Steve, tell, tell everybody what it is that you do. Hank Norman and I are partners in Two Market Media. Uh, we help experts and companies uh, build their brands, develop content that supports that brand, and then help them monetize and sell it. Uh, Evan's being generous. You know, I think uh, Evan's done almost everything on his own. He, we haven't been as active with Evan as I would have liked, but he's done it without us. Uh, but we have built some amazing brands. We built, you know, Grant Cardone and Mel Robbins from scratch. We trained both of them from the initial stages and helped build out, out their platforms. And now we do the same thing for companies, companies looking to expand on their, 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 their customer base. And how do you do it today? Evan knows it better than anybody is you got to talk to your customers and engage them create content for them and help them, and then they want more. So that's what we help folks do. So now it's, it's Evan Carmichael's turn to become the firebrand. You know, you and I have always talked about this, right? It's, uh, you've built an amazing foundation. You're one of the biggest folks in the small business world. People look to you and um, a lot of people know who you are in that world. But I've said to you frequently in the past, and as we start to get re-engaged again, why does everybody know who Grant Cardone is for the most part? And not when I say everyone, obviously. I don't know if the regular house mom knows who Grant Cardone is, although a bunch more do. Why don't they know Evan as well? And a lot of that is because you've been building in the dark. And you talk about me being camera shy. You're not camera shy, but you're largesse shy. You should be out there doing your own growth con. You should be out there with the biggest names, the biggest personalities, because you have more subscribers than anybody. You have a million seven now, I guess it is. Yeah. Why doesn't, you know, and for me, somebody who's so good on camera and you care as much as anybody I've ever met, you really truly do want to help people. The best way to do that is get more attention. I'll never forget. Grant tells the story now, but many years ago I said to him, you know, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to help more people. And I said, that's the wrong answer. He said, huh? I said, I want you to say, I want to be famous. And he's like, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. I said, no. The more famous you are, the more people will know you, and then the more people you can help. So if you actually legitimately want to help people, the best way to get there is by becoming famous. And that's a fact, whether you like it or not, and that's what we're talking about right now. We're talking about how do we make Evan more famous by giving him big, big missions that he may not actually hit, and Evan might actually fail. And that's what our agenda is together. How do you feel about that? I like it. I'm, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm anxious. And I like it. <laughs> so let's go. So what's next? So what do we talk about? We talked about what are the, the pillars of those big things you can pull off. So step one was you had this 23 city tour, which yep. is amazing, right? That everybody would love to come see you. But what did we make you do? Well, you made me start charging for it. Which you hate. Which I hated. Yeah. And now I've accepted and we're doing <laughs> So, so why do you hate charging? Let's talk about that. So why do you hate charging people to come see you? Um, good question. Why do I hate charging people? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid of not giving them value. I'm afraid of disappointing people. Um, 
and and I know that not everybody can get in, even though it's not an expensive ticket. Yes, but what do we know also? We know a few things. One is you will always over deliver. That's your nature, correct? Yep. That's a make believe concern, correct? Uh, sure. For what it was, now now that we started charging it, now I had to bring more value. Now I had to get prizes. Now I had to like really put effort into what my three hours talk is going to be. You weren't going to put effort in before? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> like, oh. uh, well, oh. listen, a coffee shop meetup, there's, there's, there's no planning on my part required. Show up, answer questions, give value. Like, it's going to be amazing. But it sounds like a lot of effort of 23 cities to do a random casual coffee shop meetup. That sounds crazy to me. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we did the tour. The starting point of the tour was not blow up Evan and get famous. Um, yeah. And it's great that it's like evolved into that, but it was to take my wife to every city with a million plus people. And then I love meeting fans. So I said, Hey, why don't I meet up fans along the way and do these coffee shop meetups. And so from a business perspective, it was really small and documented, put on my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. And when I met you in New York and said, okay, Hey, you got to charge for it and play a bigger game. Like, okay, wow. That that's scary, but let's do it. Yep. And now that we're charging, it's not a, with the ticket. I think it's 45 bucks or something. Yeah. It's not super pricey. Well, you know, one thing we've learned in our experience as two yeah. market media is, you know, we used to sometimes just work on a commission for someone and we still do that to some extent, but it's, you gotta be super famous in order to have stuff monetized because if people don't pay you. It's too easy for them to leave you. They don't take it seriously. When somebody sure. pays for something, they take it. I don't care if it's $5 or $500. Yep. They now have an obligation to, claim value on their investment. I think that's an important step there. Yeah. And so now it's bringing a lot more value to the workshops. You know, like I was up last night thinking about how to make it even better, how to make it even better, how to bring even more value, how to make these three hours count for people. Yep. Um, the idea of disappointing somebody destroys me. And so I won't like it. it. The strength is, it means that I over deliver. The weakness is still the fear that I'm going to let somebody down. Yes. But you won't, you never do. Um, well, you know what? And it'll be, it'll be some people I will, and I have to be okay with that. Like I went to the Tony Robbins thing and there's a person who, who passed out sleeping next to me while we're like doing the jumping and all that stuff. And then his wife or girlfriend was like trying to get him back into it. And he ended up leaving. And then she ended up leaving like half an hour later. Yep. It's like Tony Robbins, like the best of the best. They move everybody who paid a thousand bucks plus to get into his event. Well, that's an important point though, right? You, yep. uh, you don't like haters. Um, uh, haters, pure haters. I don't. I don't care about. I don't like people feeling like they they misunderstand the intention. So like I'm trying to help them, and they they think of me as someone else. But you know, the more you, the bigger and bigger you get, continue to grow. The yeah. more you start to charge, you're gonna have more people that are not happy. That's just yeah. life. I think part of the problem in terms of you really going for the for the for the biggest thing is your concern about that. Yeah which we're now force feeding to you. Yeah. Okay, so one thing is I love the 23 city tour. Yeah. I, I think we can build our own bigger single tour or, to, uh, or conference after that. Let's see how that goes. Okay. But I, you know, the point here is let's do, let's do big things. And the tour is a big thing that can evolve into something bigger. The second big thing we're talking about is how do we get you to 10 million subscribers, right? What do you think is going to be the key to get there? I think it'd be a mix of what we're talking about, but also the other series and the other people like working with the psychologist and, and, yeah. and Hank and those guys to make me better. Yeah. Um, I think though the, the idea we had of getting the, the, the 22 crew, the, the 22 people who haven't really been as vocal on YouTube or yeah. on entrepreneurship, yeah. a couple of them have, but people who would either make my channel help blow up or just for the entire community industry to get yeah. their thoughts on entrepreneurship there's some of the like 22 of the hardest people in the world to get access to almost. Yeah. Um, so what's our game plan to kind of get them on board and allowing people to kind of watch my journey to bring them in. The 22 people you're mentioning, have you shared that with everybody in terms of who that list is? To my audience just last week in the intro video, basically announcing what this is all about. Yeah. Uh, we could definitely play bigger. You know, I could, I could put it out in the newsletter. It could be, it'll be an ongoing part of this series for people who are watching. Obviously part of what we're talking about in terms of getting to 10 million is, is going for bigger things and getting 22 of the biggest names in the, in the world yeah. to come on your show and to be a part of what you're doing to, and to impact people is a huge thing. But that's yeah. also a challenge for you too, right? It's, it's, it is scary to say publicly, I'm going to be going after these 22 folks. And I think that's part of what will drive you because I, I know you so well in terms of when there's a challenge in front of you, 
you will do everything you can to get it. So I think that's a good thing. Um, yeah. How do we do it? I think number one, one of the things that would be helpful is having us help you do that. So it's, you have a team that's helping you. You're not solo. I think between us, we have six degrees of separation to a lot of those people. I think it's pretty easy to get people excited when they see the type of numbers that you already have on your YouTube subscription list. Yeah. And, you know, I think a lot of that is style. So it's a combination of the style in which we approach uh, the relationships and the six degrees of separation is really important because unfortunately, as you know, agents and managers uh, will always try to block stuff if they're not getting paid. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have to go through PR and find what are the things that they're currently promoting. Yeah. So let's really uh, look at for that, that 22. What is the thing that's most important to them now? Some of them will either have a new movie or a new television show or a new book coming out. Um, obviously, we've got to make sure that relates to your audience and we've got to make sure that they understand that. But, you know, you have a lot of folks. So I think that has a lot of value too. Um, but we just got to figure out which one of those folks have what, the, you know, what the, that's easy to find too, right? For a lot of them. Um, was Taylor Swift on your list? Taylor Swift was on the list. Yeah, she's the list, I think she has a new album out. Uh, somebody just told me. I think, you know, anything like that is very relevant. A new book, a new album, a new movie, a new television show. I think that will be super helpful. And I would, let's go through PR. Let's not go through managers and agents. And let's go directly. So, again, I have some pretty good relationships in the uh, Hollywood world. Uh, let's see who we, who we know and who you know. And, you know, I think it's just about banging on the doors. Makes so sense? We've had Tony Robbins on the channel once and did a, not a face-to-face -face interview, but yeah. remote. So he's, yeah. he's on the 23, uh, sorry, the 22. And, and I want to do like, for all these, I want to do face-to-face, -face, not just like a Skype interview, but we're going to go yeah. see them wherever they are. And, That's and all. We still love, them. right? But, but then it feels bigger to them. Sure. But yeah. We, so, so we can use that as a, as a case study. That one yeah. did 1.1 million views. So yeah, really. That's amazing. I mean, it's like one of his top three interviews anywhere online. That's amazing. So we can get so, a lot so more attention. We, need. we also need to create a one sheet. Can we okay. create a one sheet about this agenda? Yeah. About what you're trying to promote. It has to be more, the, the mission for them obviously can't be you getting to 10 million subscribers. Right. It has to be about crossing over their message to the business world of how they were successful, right? Yeah. And what lessons small business folks can take over. I think that's the mission of why we're going after these people. Yeah. I think we have to show them the reach of the show, which is the combination of your YouTube subscribers um, and your social media. And what I think right away, the first thing to list is your most recent Tony Robbins interview did over 1.3 million views. I mean, who's not going to want that type of, you know, audience. Yeah. So for some of those folks, those numbers are huge. Right. So, you know, Elon Musk is he's on the list too, right? Or no? Musk is on the list. I, I don't know how. So like guys like Musk, he's just done basically Joe Rogan and not much else besides like CNBC and, and that kind of stuff. Here's what I think we need to do is we yeah. need to cut, uh, have your folks cut a little trailer for the show too. We got to give them something that shows them what your stuff. Because I, I love your intro. Even just your little intro is good. Maybe come a quick intro with a clip to Tony Robbins interview. Like a customized, hey, Tony, I'd love to have you on my channel. Boom, so boom, I, boom. Actually, that's smarter than what I was saying. I wasn't even necessarily saying that, but I do like that okay. idea. Okay. <laughs> a lot. Um, you just have to do 22 of those. That's fine. That's fine. Dude, right. I'm not afraid of the work. But I love your, you know, your espresso uh, intro is always cute. It always works for me. Um, it shows you to be unique and different. Okay. I feel like a lot of these guys will like the fact that you're not, uh, you know, it, you feel young and uh uh, interesting, not not like uh, some douche. So, okay, thank you. I think that's attractive. I do. So I'm just saying, should we be sending that some version of that also? So let's talk about. So the materials are a one sheet, yeah, right? custom video, um, and a quick clip. I, and I wasn't saying you should say hey to them. That's great if you do, but I think minimal, minimally, I would love to see just the Tony Robbins clip with your intro, just a quick little clip from the Tony Robbins thing that got one point three million. So they just get a uh, look and a feel. Yeah, I, I'm happy to do an intro for each. It's, uh, that's easy. I mean, it's just let's a little bit Let's create one. I would literally make it 30 seconds to a minute tops that, that has a clip from something else you've done that has your intro. It says, hey, I'd love to have you on my show. Okay. And then let's take it from there. I think that's going to be super helpful. Some of them, uh, so like Gary, we put on the list. Um, we already have a relationship with him. It's just a matter yeah. of figuring out schedule and timing. Cause I mean, for all these people, it's just a matter of figuring out schedule and timing too. Yeah. Yeah. I think we just have to, again, let's go through the 22 one by one. 
I'll do that over the weekend. And I will start, you know, we'll, we'll divvy up who, who knows who and how do we get to them. Okay. You know, I should be able to help get to Gary Vee as well. Okay. He's what the one I? that we've connected with the most from anybody on this list. Who's most Gary? of them I have no connection to at all. So who? there's nobody who's a YouTuber besides Gary on the list. Yeah, I got you. I'm just looking at it now. Like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and, and Dalai Lama and Michael Jordan. and Is Dalai Lama Lama alive? Dalai Lama's still alive. <laughs> Sure. He's alive. He's alive. Does he know he's alive? He, uh, well, I hope so. Cause he's got some, but something like that, like having the Dalai Lama talk about entrepreneurship is different. It's a moment. Yeah. Well, right. I think it's relevant in terms of leadership, right? Sure. And, and like having Kanye come on and talk about entrepreneurship, it's never happened before. So it's like, mm -hmm. not just about my channel. It's about the, making a, a stamp for the community that this totally has never true. happened and we're going to make, we're going to be the first to make it happen. I love it. Absolutely. We just got to make sure that's reflected in the one sheet. Okay. So you want a one page on each and you want to, no, 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 no. I would do a general one sheet. Don't do a one sheet on each. Just give me a general one sheet, a one sheet of, okay. The uh, opportunity. Yep. And then a video 30 seconds to minute highlighting the benefits. Correct. How about I do one? Like who, who do you want to go after first? Arnold. I can make the like, Hey Arnold or Hey, whoever. I think Arnold would be a good one. Arnold? Yep. I think I have a pretty good relationship to him in LA. Okay. I so like I'll, make like a hey, I'll make a Hey Arnold video. I like Arnold. I like Kanye. Kanye's on my wall. I don't know if you can see him on this, like, uh, in this yeah, crazy Arnold. angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's on your yeah. left, my right. He's on, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, look, I think at the end of the day, this is reflective of what we're trying to do, which is to, to really change the game and really go for the throat and get you as big as possible. That's all I got for today. What do you got? What did I leave out? No, I think it's good. I mean, this, this us is, is a monthly series. So like action steps before next month that we want to get accomplished, definitely get the action steps done. Are, obviously we got to fill up uh, as many of those seats as possible in your tour. Number one. Yeah. And uh, number two is, you know, let's have at least three committed three to five committed by the end of the month, by the end of January. Three to five people saying, yes, I'm in. Yep. I'm liking that dude. I'm liking that. Steve Carlos, ladies and gentlemen. In the I mean, your series is rolling and, you know, people are excited to be joining the subscriber list for Evan Carmichael. I like it, dude. Let's what else? Over, we need? Two, okay, over so two million by the end of January. Two million by the end of January. All right. That's, yep. that's a big, that's a, that's a big jump. You got to figure it out. Let's do it. Okay. So for the 22, we got it. Like I'll make the one pager. I'll do the, um, the video and I'll send you something. We can, we can split up the list and start attacking it and update my audience next month, how we're doing on it for the tour. Right. What else do we need to do? I, I'm just going through the cities and I'm going to start mentioning some folks there that can be local sponsors and things like that. Okay. So we're going to follow up with Chaz Wilson. Okay. And I got a bunch of other folks I'm following up with. Okay. Okay. Yeah. By, by, by next month when we film this again, we'll, we'll be in the middle of the tour. So yes, we should have a bunch of yes. So we'll have a lot of targets by then. Cool. All right. Action All items. Right. Bigger game. Here we go. Thanks, Evan. Good luck. For, for people, for people who want to find out more about you, where are they going, Steve? Newmarketmedia.com. Are you going to open up your own like Twitter or Instagram or something? No. Nope. No, not reach yet. Out to, reach out to Hank Norman and tell him you'd <laughs> like to, uh, to talk to us. We'll meet Hank soon on the, on the series. We'll meet Hank soon. That's right. He's, a, he's, he's my front man. He's a front man, but, but you're bringing the value here on this episode. <laughs> Goodbye. Cool. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, buddy. Now, one of the big takeaways for me from this video was I needed to get that intro video out for the 22 crew, the video that we will be using to show them, to hopefully convince them to come on my channel. Good news is I'm a man of action. When I get a challenge, I take immediate action on it. And so we have already created that short intro video. And I wanted to share with you guys too, hopefully inspire you to take some action as well. Roll the video. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael and I am on a mission to help people believe in themselves more. I would love to have you on my YouTube channel of almost 2 million subscribers and 250 million views to share your perspectives and inspire the world. 
I've had people like Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk, Sadhguru, Bishop TD Jakes, Brian Tracy, Wim Hof on my channel, and I'd love to have you as my guest. My interview with Tony Robbins has over 1.2 million views and is now one of his top three most popular interviews ever done online. Forbes magazine called me one of the world's top 40 social media talents. Inc. magazine called me one of the world's top 25 social media keynote speakers that you need to know. But it's not about the accolades and awards. It's about doing good, making a real impact, and spreading a message that matters. I'd love to help spread your message to millions of people. My ask is to come visit you in your city or on the road for a 30 to 60 minute interview. I promise to bring great questions, create an interview you'll be proud to show your grandkids and share it with my audience and the world. Thank you for your consideration. Thanks for having me on. Take care, brother. Believe. If you wanna know why I started on this journey and why I made the decision to blow up and become a household name to get to 10 million subscribers, check the link out next to me. I think you'll enjoy that video. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.